I kept telling myself that I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. And then I never did. But here we have it. Mandalorian Season 3 Official Trailer. Disney Plus. I still wonder what they're going to do about Cara Dune. Will they recast her? Or will they just be done with the character, just not mention her again, which might not be a good idea because she 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 was pretty important. She was running an entire planet along with Grief Kaga. So I, I think we'll notice if she disappeared. Anyways, what do I know? I'm just a guy with opinions. So let's get into it and see what it has to offer. Our people are scattered. Mm-hmm. Like stars in the galaxy. Which people are scattered? The our people, the Mandalorians. Our people are scattered. Our people, of course. Stars in the galaxy. Okay. What are we? What do we stand for? Oh, so he's bringing uh, the Mandalorians all together. Okay, hyperspace drive. Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. Of course. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. And you have to know how to protect baby Gro baby Grogu. Or baby Yoda, however you say. Why does he have his head shifted to one side? Because it looks like he's sleeping. Is this an autopilot? Don't know. I still prefer his uh, earlier Razor Crest ship because it had room for him to walk about in. This is more like... This doesn't have room for him to walk about in and he can't bring bounties with him, so... It's a bit of an issue, don't you think? That way, you'll mm-hmm. What? Have to know how to navigate the galaxy. Okay. That way, you'll never be lost. Is this the same planet? The planet from the season one? Also, why is there white C3PO? Did, did he go through a WandaVision type scenario? Well, if, if you didn't get it, it's a reference to how Vision is white now. Hmm. 3D printed C3PO. The horrors of the modern world. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Hi, monkey. So he, this is the planet. There it is, Grief Karga. What happened to Kara Dune? Is it, it's a it's a good question. You have to you have to mention it. Say she died off screen or something or recast her. Honestly. Also, hi, Silver C3PO. Where is he going? Hello, Armorer. Okay. How is he allowed here? Because she doesn't consider him Mandalorian anymore, right? Because he took off his helmet in front of someone. So that I may be forgiven for my transgressions. Oh. And here I thought I was actually going to see character development. But who knows? Mm -hmm. This is the way. It is the way. There's something dangerous happening out there. Also, uh, something happened to Mandalore, didn't it? Like, it used to be a lush green planet, and the Empire turned it to glass or something. I don't know. I'm going to Mandalore, so that I may be forgiven from. Yeah, look at that. It does not look habitable. My transgressions. So is this an R4 unit? Yeah, this is an R4 unit, isn't it? Hold on. Mandalorian with a droid. What is this? Early Christmas? What? The Mandalorian with a droid. 
Okay then. We are seeing a lot of changes then. Cool. May the force be with you. And same to you. Okay, thank you, Grogu. Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And by the time it becomes this is a Republic pilot. This is one of the Republic pilots that... So this pilot has already come across uh, the Mandalorian. And um, he thinks of him as a criminal. So... How are they talking right now? Shouldn't he lock the Mandalorian up because it's a bounty hunter thing? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. It'll be too late. Whose helmet is that? Time it becomes big enough for you to act. It'll be too late. Okay, a flashback to the Jedi era. What is this droid doing? Hang on, kid. What did he say? Hang on, kid. Uh, is this what I think it is? A droid cantina. Just when you think it can't get any weirder. Also, why would it be weird? Droids have feelings and emotions, right? So, I guess they would like to socialize. But man, it is a, it is a different sight. A droid cantina. Cool. You will never find a more wretched hive of... Uh, of... Rogers and machinery. I, I don't know. This seems like a shot from season one. I don't know. Yeah, this. See this attack. It seems like the attack in which Denjarin was found. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, hello, Babu Freak version 2 and version 3. Huh. Again, I wonder how many Babu Freaks we are going to get in this one. But this is not Babu Freak. This is the species Babu Freak. But, you know, like, just like Baby Yoda was called Baby Yoda. Right? So, I guess I can be forgiven for calling this Babu Freak. What, what? Why would you leave Grogu alone? Mandalorian. What is this? Four-eyed bounty hunter? This looks like a kid. He has the proportions of an adult? I don't know. No, this this has the proportions of a kid. Maybe he's wearing some sort of mask or... It, yeah, this is some sort of mask. What is this though? Where is this? Oh, this is Mandalore, is it? The green crystals. Yeah, this seems like Mandalore. Who knows? This is the way. Oh, that's a creature. That's not a kid. I thought he was wearing some sort of mask. Oh, <laughs> L look at look at this man. <laughs> Baby Yoda being all savage. Baby Yoda will take care of you and he'll look cool while doing it. So don't cross Baby Yoda. This is the way. Look at this expression. This expression is king. 
I don't know if he's bored or he's uh, amused. But whatever he is, he's awesome. <laughs> Season 3, March 1. Hmm. You know what? I actually like the sound of that. Maybe they could like... Uh, <clears throat> instead of calling them episodes, they could call them like like chapters. They could have called them like... Season 3, March 1. Season 3, March 2. You know, like... Like, not that the episode 2 is going to come out on March 2nd. But like... Uh, you know, like... The second episode is called March 2, as in March, the the acting of March. But I I do I do realize the, the issues, the obvious issues with that. So I guess we keep it at that. I'm still interested in knowing how they're going to address the Karadun situation. Because I do agree. Gina Karana needed to go. But I did like the character of Karadun, so. Who knows? Well, I guess it already started. We had a big head start comparing to the rest of Star Wars, at least in that era. Who are we talking about? Whose face is not? Who? In, I think you're talking about particular someone particular. Okay, I don't want to get into this argument. Yep, I agree. Although most people would actually say Mandalorian and Andor are nothing alike. Who knows? Yeah, there are a lot of good things with Star Wars. It's just that the, the amount of shit is so shit that yeah like <clears throat> if they just had a plan with the sequel trilogy like i'm not saying it's good or bad or what but it's like come on like okay so after the first one right the last jedi uh was a little controversial was a little like you know <clears throat> not liked by a lot of people but i i truly honestly think that while initially i liked the rise of skywalker because it was a return to form the the problem was you know yes the last jedi was a misstep but now that you have taken that step you should firmly go in that direction like it, it, this is like like, the franchise is playing tug-of-war with itself, right? Like, yes, if, if you uh, if you take the uh, Rise of Skywalker, not the Rise of Skywalker, um, The Force Awakens, it does follow into The Last Jedi. Like, it's, it's consistent with what came before it, even the earlier uh, trilogies. Like, yes the Luke in The Last Jedi doesn't act exactly like the Luke we know and love, but this is an older look. Luke, this is something that has broken him, right? And from the rise of... Uh, and the rise of Skywalker has a good enough connection uh, to The Force Awakens. Like, like you could see the, the, like the third movie going that way. The problem is the, the middle movie that should have been doesn't exist there's a different middle movie and that middle movie and the third movie has no connection what gives i, I just think a few missteps and and those few missteps have been like so prevalent that they've completely like like completely asked over the star wars brand like like Obi-Wan Kenobi. That could have been a movie. That should have been a movie. But then again, we have Bob Chapek to thank for that. Ah. Like, on an average, if you look at every single Star Wars project that has been out there, 
after the sequel trilogy, it's been good. Like Last Jedi, no, not the Last Jedi. Jedi Fallen Order, amazing. Uh, Battlefront had a shit launch, but Battlefront Two, uh, like, had a shit launch, but over time it became a really amazing game. Like, legit, you should check it out. <clears throat> And uh, then it comes to uh, Mandalorian, amazing. Book of Boba Fett and Obi Wan, not so much. And are amazing. I, I don't get it. Like the sheer number of show shows do overpower, but it's like it's like the the failures are so noticeable. I I'm sorry for going on this rant. Like, how do you fail Obi Wan Kenobi? Uh, anyways. Well, who am I kidding? Oh, come on. I hate these bots. Ah, the Pedro Pascal dad. Too bad I won't be seeing uh, some of them. Last of Us, because I don't have HBO Max in India. Hate it. Hate it with all my heart. Come on, HBO Max. Come to India. Don't be a bad person. Hmm, let's see if there's something after this. No, it's just Disney Plus. Okay. Alright then. Um so we are locking on Savage Baby Yoda. Um if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below with your thoughts and share this video with your friends and all the wonderful stuff. Uh, if you want to know more about me, then links to my socials will be down in the description. And along with my website, www.nightwalkerjesus.com, which is where I run my blog. So you can check that out. Uh, <clears throat> if um, science fiction and dark fantasy novels are your thing, then I am the author of this novel. A short description and uh, links to buy this will also be found in the description so that's your thing check that out as well and um, <clears throat> if you want more content like this I make reaction content like this and gaming content where I make fun of games so if those are your thing then hit the subscribe button with the bell icon all notifications turned on and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.